It's all right now because there's anything you can do. Move it was all right. Move it was all right. is groovy and you'd like to show your support well there are a few things that you can do find that like button give it just a, a playful little smack and subscribe and join the channel and
the guy. I got them looking like why. I never doubted me why. I never doubted my guys. You know you in it for win. I stand on 10, you on 10. I don't have friends of a friend. Only the fan of the kin. Only my wife and my kids. That's all I needed to win. Now I only trust my true friends. Had to cut off my check, check, one, two, one, two. You know I win if you win. You know you win if I win. I swipe that cash don't fold. I swipe my bank on gold. Don't think that I've been Sean, wrong. Sean, Sean, how's the audio? Good work, Sean. Stop screwing up, Sean.
And we have no sound again tonight. Sorry about that. Well, at least we caught it. Looked over here. 1038, we caught it early. Welcome everyone to Late Night Crypto Charts with Road Dog. My name is Lane, and I'm the village idiot that cannot remember to turn on the sound button. It's on, right? <laughs> oh, man. That sucks when that happens. Thank you for hanging out with me tonight, and shout out to everybody's here. We got some more people in. I give a shout out to, uh, let's do it again. Strega to Extremely Juan. We got AD Crypto 420. I don't think I missed anybody there. Thank you guys for hanging out with me tonight. What I was saying briefly was, um, this is a guy that, uh, I'm not gonna show his video to, tonight unless that's something you guys really wanna see, but I would recommend you, you go watch him. If you ever hear him speak, man, I don't know. First time, I would be watching the market and I'm connecting these dots saying, yeah, I think that looks like something's going on there, man. Yeah, there, something is here. I'm connecting these little things and then I find him. And then he kind of like is connecting those same dots only he kind of just zooms out and kind of broadens the stage and starts collecting other dots and how things are moving and working together. And I'm just like, dude, you are the goat. So uh, his name, <laughs> Mark Yusko with Morgan Creek Finance and uh, the video that his latest, and this pertains to what we've just seen over the weekend in the market. It's really interesting. Um, just showing you how markets are manipulated at the end of the day to drive prices down so they can buy at night. It is so genius and so cool. Mark Yusko, uh, this is at Savvy, Savvy Finance is where the interview is. Check it out, man. Pretty cool. Let's go uh, to the charts. So looking at Bitcoin for hour, man. Got everything but the volume that we need. Checking to make sure we got. All right, we got the sound in. We're missing Dave P. We are missing Dave P. Dave! Dave, come back, Dave! I'm sorry. I'll show you my booby. Hopefully, Dave will check back with us. All right. Bitcoin got this nice blast up. I want to see more volume to come in. Otherwise, you know, we'll probably get. A little rejection here at this 100 moving average currently. That's well, we haven't made it there. Right around 68,000 in that area. And we may have to stumble and go sideways. May even do a retest of the breakout area back around 65. All of that is on the table to happen when you get a little breakout, especially one that has little to no volume. Here on the one hour, I'm going to tighten up my trend lines here to a candle. Through a candle top. Are you locked? Why would I lock you? What's going on here? Cooperate with me. I will delete you. Uh, Critical one hour chart shows that we're currently retesting the breakout zone according to this chart time frame. Let's put them in there just a little bit tighter. Nice and smooth. Come on. Come on. Just a little. Whoa, whoa. Don't step on the gas too much, mister. A little bit more of a downside maybe coming. Not nothing to worry about. We got up as high as 67,603. Sitting right now at 66,66. That's the devil's indicator right there. I don't know. I'm taking that as a sign. I'm whipping her out. Where are you, Lucy? If you guys are not familiar with our channel, I do track a very particular moving average. And since we're at the devil's price, I figured I would go see what the devil is into. And this is Lucy. And she likes to play tricks with that big old red moving average right there. Maybe we should blow her up a little bit. I'm, blow it up. Enlarge it. Enlarge it to the thick it. Make it a thicker line. So we can't miss it. You want to always watch for Lucy. <sighs> Lucy, 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 Lucy's going to play with us for a little bit here. We may come back and touch Lucy. I would say that we might. We've kind of flipped above her a little bit, and she may not be very happy with that. Let's take Lucy off the screen there before I forget Lucy is there. See, so our 200 moving average has crossed below Lucy. So I, 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 I think Lucy's going to come talk to us, or we're going to meet her, or she's going to mysteriously drag us down to her mystical level there and uh give us a good talking to 
Looks like we snuck past her and made a run for it, and she's not happy. But overall, I mean, zooming out here, man. This is a good sign. We got the 800 moving average, the 666 moving average. I know, it's crazy, but back tested, man. It's relevant. I wouldn't have it on here any otherwise. I'm not a proponent. So we're getting a pull back. This one's on a smaller time frame. The momentum is still to the upside. Let's zoom out. I don't mean to freak you out on that one hour, baby. Sorry, didn't mean to freak you. Lucy's way down here. She's far from us. She's not going to bite us on the four hour. You're safe, baby. You're safe. You'll be okay. She just likes to sometimes just get mad and start punching at things and prices and, you know, I don't know just how she is. She pouty sometimes. Best not to interact with her if you don't have to. Sometimes you have to sweet talk her to get past her, but that's all I'm saying. We're not here to talk about Bitcoin so much. We just follow him to see what the Alcoins are doing, right? The Alcoins are doing A-OK, -okay, man. Break out of this little channel here. It's kind of lackluster there. Still not seeing the volume here I want to see. I want to see volume come in on a breakout, not go down. That means that it could be weak. So we might be coming up to the top of this trend line, adding, you know, about another 30 billion into our market, pumping our bags shortly. But what are we going to do then? It's iffy. We find some rejection there and just kind of play around unless, unless we start seeing some volume come in. And if we see some volume come in and then we start breaking trend lines, maybe something the magic's about to happen but we're not seeing that yet bitcoin dominance over here upper left hand corner of your screen above my head what the? she just hanging out not doing much of anything she's rounding she's curling like she's got a little bottoming thing going on like she might decide to go up that might affect her coins. So that's what i'm throwing out there for you we just keep an eye on it other than that, oh, the tether dominance behind my head is just still kind of hanging out there at that bottom. And we're watching others' dominance, you know, altcoin dominance kind of pairs up with their total three over here a little bit. Just kind of watching both, see what they're doing. She's looking okay. She just, uh, She's got some baggage to work through because we lost a trend line, so we're trying to recover that. Now, if we do, that's one well, might, and technically we we might have or are. I'm a little picky on that. I want them all to line up good. Might be breaking back into that trend line, and that would be good. Come on, baby, make a run for the border. Go for it. Go for it. Pump our bags. And are your bags pumping? Here's the watch list over here on the weekly chart. On the daily, it looks like they pumping good. These are the strong ones that are strong for the whole year. I kind of picked them out through the whole 1000 list there. Trying to keep up with the ones that are moving. Stubu, which I have no idea. I think we looked at it one time, never got into it. Kind of a shame. Cause it looks like it's been doing pretty good. Stubu. Stobox. Come over to our top 100, the normie coins, as we say. Ondo making his way up there doing 92 cents. Keep an eye on Ondo with his back in his normal sub $3 stomping ground there and the high $2.278. AIOZ. We'll probably look at that one tonight. That's an interesting. That one covers a lot of categories, my friend. That one's a good investment for a lot of little categories, covers a lot of bases. Is it a great project? I know very little about the actual project other than they got their hands in everything that's hot right now, so they're hot. And on this hour, it does seem to be on the hot side, as well as Ondo there. QNT trying to do something behind my head here. What are you doing? Come on out here. Come on and talk to us. What are you doing? You trying to move up? Oh my gosh. QNT, you're no longer a hundred dollar stable coin. People are starting to buy you and move you up a little bit. Tell me it's, tell me it's not a dream. Can you do, can you do a 10 X? I would love to see you try. Just go ahead right now. I'll hold your legs. Come on. I think you can do it. I'll give you a little boost. Okay. 
Guys, I got a list of coins over here because I, well, I always have a list of coins over here, but what are you guys into? You got anything that I should be looking at right now? We'll take a look at something. Maybe even if you're proud of it, we'll take a look at it. Maybe it's pumping. Maybe it's your favorite pump pump coin. I'll look at the ones that are pumping. I don't care. How about ICP today? There we go, Juan. He's in the spirit of things. He knows how this works. ICP. It was on my list too anyway, though, but we'll do it. ICP. <laughs> well, then go flush the toilet. <laughs> I had no control over that one. I don't even know where it come from. There's about 15 of me in here. I'm all sewn up and everything. It's about st the stitches are popping off and they're sleeking out. I can't stop them. ICP. I'm still looking at this 2251 target and I've got to measure move up here for about 24. Just been patiently waiting on this. I've been over on, uh, and I still can't do it here yet. Show you guys anyway. Um, we talked about it last night though. Oh, I was doing spot margin to grow a portion of that bag on its own. Doing nice, doing nice, nice, nice. Caught it at the perfect time. We still got Lucy on the table here. We need to take Lucy off. She freak people out, man. But uh, Lucy is showing. Maybe we should keep her on. I don't know. On these smaller time frames here, because it's showing the strength of the move. These are the strong, the 600, whatever, and the 800, man. They're they're strong enough. Well, I got iron. It's that strong wood. Just not ready to do the pound. And every time price pack comes back to touch it, man, it gets swatted right off. That's a good sign, y'all. That's strong. That's bearish. It should be. We should see that on all of our things right now. What else are we seeing it on? Anything else? So. We broke to the south side of this channel and it was a sad day when we dropped from 13 all the way down to 10. But I, it wasn't sad for me because I had lemon orders stacked over there just soaking it up. It's like dipping the wick into the candle thing, just pulling it out. Seeing what I come out with. And luckily that doesn't work in every phase of the market, but it works really good right now. Really good. We are in by the dip territory phase of this market. And we could have as much as a 20 to 30% dip. Always keep that in mind. But if you're not a, a trader, or maybe you don't consider yourself a savvy investor, if you, maybe you're new to this game or anything, that's the best thing that will really, really that work out for anybody, really. It's great strategy. Dollar cost averaging, whether you do that by time, like do it once a week, or maybe you do it... Uh, it's harder to do that way and convince yourself to do it by like, every time that we get a big pullback. That's a one way to do it. However, that you want to do it. Time base works pretty good. And just waiting for big pullbacks and buying those dips, baby. And you are in the perfect phase of this market to catch the ride up. This is when all the people are packing their bags, getting their bags packed and, and taking that big ride. And then they're kind of just jumping in and out of everything that's rising up, trading their way up, oddling their way up and, uh, this is the time to be in the market if you're not that's okay other people will come in later they're actually sadly going to be the people that we sell to but that's how this works and then they get educated and then they know better next time too hopefully so i'm sitting there watching icp but it, yeah there's nothing much more to say other than up there if you want to see where we might get a little flack and get a a little bit of pullback here Uh, you kind of work nice. And look along this trend line, somewhere in about the $20 neighborhood. It'll probably be a little bit of a pullback there. Put a little caution sign. So she might pull back and might give you a, a little pullback back to the areas. $17.50. Wherever these tops are, may come back and touch those areas and then slowly work her way up so there could be a chance to do something like this and take a little profit or not or add a little bit back in or not it all depends on your strategy so many ways to play this game and there's defy guy how's it going defy guy Streamer says, how about DWB on Pulse Chain? I'm going to have to start playing around more on Dex Tools.
because there is a lot of cool stuff over there. I'm a little bit old school because, well, you know, I started this out in 2013. Didn't know a dang thing, though, and still didn't. I, I don't really consider myself to be educated, really, in it until I, I learned TA, and that was back in 2020. But, uh... So, the, the, those of us old school, it takes us a little while to start really, you know, at certain points of the market, we're, we're, we're more prone to do it, but... That's how we're old. We're old farts. That's all it is. So pulse chain. And I guess we're it's I gotta get used to this, man. How to read this. How to know when I'm going. I wanna I just want to make sure I'm against the dollar. And so if I click this first one. Also do contract addresses. Okay, this is against the dollar. DWB against the dollar. Let's check it out. The four hours not gonna give me much, is it? So, new one, apparently. Are we going to do some fortune telling? Is that what you're trying to get me to do? How very clever. I'm a sucker for fortune telling. I always forget to turn him off, but he does make a good point, though, doesn't he? We got 10 likes. Hey! That's a come up, actually. Or, oh, baby, you're at the 127 area right now. You look like you're at the 138, so I don't know, but you got rejected there, and then you're trying to make a comeback like a champ. What are you up to? What? She may have fallen back into a channel or as I like to look at it, maybe she's just trying to retest the bottom of the, of the channel. It, it would actually make more sense. This would be the strong part. Bye. And this could be the middle. A new channel. Let's look at it that way. So if she does make a little bit of a pullback, we're on the one hour chart here. That price could be... A decimal five zeros and 73.97 in that area. However, she wants to continue going bullish to the upside. Well, she's already met this measure move, I believe. When we take the measure move route, which is highly dependable. Look at that. I mean, you might not have nailed it, but you got up there. You need to pay attention when she's getting in them areas, didn't you? That's all you can ask for. And then we got this channel. Then maybe this is the main trend line. That'll give us a nice little target up here in this area. Throw a little line up there. Paint it blue, because I can't paint it black and see it. I drew a blue line and I want to paint it black. That's at uh, a decimal in four zeros. So losing a zero, that's 11.85. Hopefully this will work on this. Oh my God, it works. Sometimes it doesn't. That's uh, almost 60%. 59. Technically where I'm coming up. From the bottom here. From where we are right now. For all those FOMOers out there, because you know there's always somebody. 
38% gains for the foam mowers. Yeah, you don't get as much. Oh, the patient, get the more, get the most. However, to get up to the bigger target that we're looking at there, quite possible. I can't seize it. 85% games for the foam mower. So might we come back to this area? I do know, man. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe the foam mower guy are right. But we, I, I, it's sad to say, but uh, if you are a dedicated foam mower and you just don't have that self-control, at least we're getting toward the phase of the market where you're not going to be as sad as you will for the rest of the market with those attributes. I mean, it's starting to get bullish. It's starting to get bullish, and even the foam mowers will be, I'm a genius. I nailed it. And when the bear market comes, it's like, what happened? I can't do nothing. I don't understand. I, part of the journey, part of the journey. Let's go to the chat. Someone send me my 10 pounds, please. This is Isaac D'Souza. Hey, welcome to the show, man. Bitcoin wallet broken, really broken. Hmm. Strager does like tacos. That ain't no joke. I've been trying to find a little taco thing to throw up on the screen, but I can't find a good one. I want a dancing taco. I got I found a dancing banana a long time ago. I need to find a dancing taco, and I can't find a dancing taco. And there you go. There's the wisdom. So we didn't get rejected. We got back into this pattern. That's awesome. Higher targets for ICP. Toshi. They got it over on CoinX. Who does remember Toshi? Look, she's in one of those untrustworthy patterns. It actually did what you dream for it to do. Oh my gosh. What does that mean? Cause this almost never happens. You you hope it does. That's what the book makes it look like it's going to do, but uh, that's usually not what you get. Be careful up here at this previous wick. This is getting around time to take profits again. Gosh darn it, Toshi. Are we still? Hey Toshi, how you doing against ETH right now? That's the real question. How you doing against ETH? Huh? 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 For real, for real? It ain't the time. You serious? You say no? Toshi Weeds tell me not to sell right now. Said, I got something in store for you, baby. I'm getting ready to rock the whole world. Okay. I guess I'm not going to sell, man, but... Technically, I've already moonbagged you, really. I've already moonbagged you because you already doubled. I feel stupid for selling that last little bit before you pop it up like a crazy madman. All right, so Toshi, Toshi Weath chart says that Toshi's getting ready to go freaking on fire. So it makes Toshi dollar chart look like a, a wimp, I guess. Let's look at Toshi dollar chart. Thank you for telling that me that, ETH. So, uh, I would normally be saying take profits here, but I don't think gee, you already went up higher. You now in price discovery, Toshi, Toshi, over on Base Chain. Also available on what? On Coinex? Coinex, where I got it? I don't know if it's on Mexi yet or not. Oh, gosh. Well, yeah, you got more listings to come, too. Definitely push you up. Cat meme coin over. I think it's the very first meme coin over on base. That's why I got it. I heard some billionaire talking about he did something crazy. He, that's the only he's only in Toshi. I, all this money only in Toshi or whatever he put into the market only in Toshi. That's all I'm going to do at those here. The like one. I'm like, 
Dude, you either shilling for this project or you know something that nobody else knows or you just a genius. And his whole thing was this. It's the first meme coin on base. People are going to be coming into base. Base is making things a lot easier. It's going to be the most simple thing for people to buy. He went all in. Now I'm starting to think he is a genius because whatever he had is like, I don't, I don't even know when he got in, but since I even heard about it, it's more than at least 4 x Jeez, Toshi. So I'm looking for Toshi to get up to 0. 0.000708. That should be an area where she should get a little comeback and fall back a little bit. Keep her eyes on it though, because uh, she's breaking out like crazy. We can do. Well, we can do this. Thomas Bukowski says you take the whole measure move from the tops to the all the way down to the bottoms. Of course, now there is a multiplier that he puts on that, but just doing that alone might give us another target up here. That's what keep my eye on. Toshi. Toshi, you're making daddy very happy. I just want you to know I'm very proud of you and what you're accomplishing in your life. It makes me want to cry. Now, let me pull Thomas Bukowski's little measure move trick here. Oh, that's not a thingy thing. Pull my fib out in public. And they were amazed. Really? All right. So, no, you're not a measure move. Got a Bukowski measure move right up here at 0. 0. 0. 0.000633. According to him, measure move from these uh these patterns usually only meet their targets about 61, 62% of the time. And he recommends using that multiplier for your measure move, cut it down to that size. So we'll see how that plays out. I always like to test this stuff. Play with it. Play with it. See if it purrs. I guess we'll paint this one. I guess we need that one. These now might be some possible buy areas. If there is a pullback. It's possible. Very possible. Let's find our channel. That'll tell us where we'll pull back to. There's one part. Let's raise you up around that area. Oh no! I got an extra. I got a floater. Hey, he's automatic. Ooh, will that hold? That would be so bitching if this area right here holds. Let's put a horizontal line there. Let's make it a different color so I don't get confused. And what does that mean? She's just marking that breakout point. So I'm looking if we do get a pullback, the very first one. Might be there. Toshi, she's rocking. Here's one we talked about before. This one is called Opulus. It's over on the Algorand chain. Some music NFT type things. Really cool. Where musicians can actually get a loan. And they're putting up the royalty rights on whatever songs that they're getting. The, they're putting up. So you get to collect income from or somehow it works. There's some kind of income generated from uh, the royalties. I'm just mostly got mine staking over there, but uh, and she's not been an easy hold. I'm telling you. So she's been up to 31 cents before, and then she dropped all the way back down to four cents. What a juicy area to start picking this up. 
Unfortunately, usually during this time, you're just sick of buying things at the lows and you're just all disgusted and don't feel like buying much of anything or you've already you're petered out and out of dry powder and you're just hoping the market will turn around and you're like, oh God, how long will this go on? That's usually what's really going on here. I know we always look back, you know, and see a lot of YouTubers look back and say, oh, we we're nailing it down here. We were boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Rewind a little bit. <laughs> uh, it looks like it's going to zero. I don't know, I wouldn't even mess with this piece of junk. And then the narrative changes. So she's making some nice little crosses here. Ooh, looky here, Lisey's coming to play. As she often does in the music industry, so I'm told. 200 crossing bullishly over the 300 move, 360 moving average and the 666 moving average. So the two, Sunshine's about ready to come to our lives, ladies and gentlemen. I call that an angelic cross. She's going to sing like the angels. Come on, Opulence, let's go. Don't slow down on my nap. You're making grounds here. What's that? That's the 800 moving average that we crossed here on the day. This is the daily chart. This is actually big. This is big to do's. Now there is. Oh. There's someone on YouTube that I like, actually. And um, she does um, readings on these projects. And I don't know, I can't, she's been very accurate, but she's also had some some calls before that didn't quite hit. <laughs> but uh, she foresaw the possibility of this going to 80, I think it's $88. Oh, I don't know. I'm just so crazy enough when it's down here at these low prices and saying, why not? Let's chunk some money into it and let it roll. I mean, I could be buying a meme coin. So, and we see that she's had some nice highs before because from those very bottoms of eight cents, four cents, I mean, she's, she's reached $8 before. Might she do it again? I hope so. I would love to see that $80 target or $88 target reach, but even if she only makes it up here, the $493. Baby, that's a come up. That's a huge, huge come up. No matter how you look at it. $489. Even when where we are now sitting here at a quarter, which I think is phenomenal. So my bag should be like two and a half to three X. I can't even get it up here to measure to see how what the gain is. There we are. Well, click the full screen, dummy. I live with an asshole. Well, you can be an asshole too for 99 likes a month. Oh, we're talking 1933 percent well that's like a 20 xer and isn't that what we're looking for it's like the 20 25 x's in accumulation bottoms you have to zoom out zoom in i'm on the daily chart here and if you can ignore the lines from the x-rays, I don't know what they were doing. I really don't, but it looks kinky. I mean, you got the double bottom. It's going to come up here to the belt line. we the belt buckle with a Texas stare on it. Texas Longhorn. Probably drives Cadillac. You got your belt on backwards, by the way. Oh, unless we're sitting in the front. I didn't even think about that. That's where the dangle pattern comes in. That makes you female. Wearing a belt buckle. Mm. 
I don't know what to say about that. But I can say that the price should be coming up here level with this area we were at before. We hope it breaks up above it. And then we can start seeing a measure move taking us up to 56 cents for Opulus. That's what we can see actually playing on the charts. Not just hoping for $80, which I'm hoping. I'm hoping, baby. I'm ready. I already drank that Kool-Aid. I want it. I want that $80, but I won't be disappointed if I don't get it because it's going to make so many gains. Before then, I'm cool with it. Opulus, I like it. Go, baby. Get them gains. Show them what you can do, baby. I've been trying to tell them for over a year. Nobody listened, but they will. They'll finally click it before they stick it. Here's one I've never looked at before, I don't think, the, to the best of my memory, but it's being hot over here. These are the hotties over on Token Metrics right now. The hot trader coins, and we are in trading season, so it's probably a good look, good idea to look at them. Aerodrome is kind of hot. Banana Gun's doing a little bit better. I'm still waiting for that $46, $48 to be hit. Well, then I'm probably out. Cetus is kind of hot. Prop Chain C is rocking. These uh, all have the nice changes and gains here lately. Alliance blockchain, that's what we're going to look at. Haven't looked at you in a minute. NXRA. Pump it, baby. Pump it. Pump it, pump it. On the daily. To the pump pump. I'm even giving you fireworks on that one. Oh my god, we got a big rounded bottom up here. I forgot to take the bottom off. Hope she didn't get burnt with all that rocket juice. I didn't mean to scorch the kitty. Oh, now we got a nice little possible trend line here. We got to, she's hit all my targets, man. She's hit all my targets. We got to see what we're going to do. I think we can get a, that goes back to March 2020. I think that's when everything came back online with this one. Next zero, what you trying to do, baby? You've already, uh, you already did what I needed you to do. Was looking for you to do. What are you doing here? Are you getting back into this? All right, that gives me something to look at. So does that, baby. So does that. You already hit that. Something is askew here. What's wrong? What did, what did I do here? Back up, back up, why not? No. Got you, got you, okay. Just a moment here. So I think this area is going to be a little bit of a headache for her. But it's cool that she got back above this trend line. That's actually kind of a big thing. It may not be the best representation of what we're doing right now. I just uh, tell you what, I'm actually going to bank that one out just a little bit. But it does seem to be respecting that. So uh, it's at play to some degree, but our main pattern that we're looking at, it's going to be different. Oh, not too much different, more of a mega pony, which is a big thing, but let's see, swing high, I can start here, let's just, can we do it from here though? I 
lot to play around. I think that was really your overall channel. So I'm sticking with this one. We're just going to call her, uh, going to paint her red and match the other one. Thinking that we're in a megaphone pattern, could get rejected up here. Although, you know, we could bounce up to 35. That would be awesome. I just don't think it's coming just immediately, just yet, for Alliance Blockchain. But nice move up from the bottom down here. She's up 100, almost a, got up almost 100% right there. Currently sitting at 22 cents on the daily chart, ready to rock and roll. And doing the duck lips here on the moving averages on the four hour. The old duck lips. It's not just on the MACD. The MACD is actually based on the moving averages. So it just ain't makes sense that they would go hand in hand there. It is time for some cool altcoin news. Who is ready for some altcoin news? Some altcoin alpha. Let's kick it. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Yay, I'll do it. Check it out. The Layer GG. Altcoin news. What has happened today in crypto? I'm going to start calling it today in crypto. The Hong Kong Web3 Festival is scheduled for April 6th with several Hong Kong-themed projects showing upward momentum ahead of the conference. CFX, ACH, CKB should be affected. Check them out. They may be rocking for you. Terraform founder Don Quo is about to be released from prison in Montenegro. And related coins are showing signs of meme coinization, such as Luna, Luna C, and USTC. Bake trading for the Hop token is set to commence on March 25th at 11 a.m. UTC time. Didex, $112 million worth of tokens. 11% of circulating supply will be unlocked on April 1st. Dang, mother. Wax will be announcing big things on March 26th. It's about six feet tall. What does that mean? Civic will announce the big thing on March 26. You're just a copycat, Civic. Wax already beat you to it. Playdap will be delisted from South Korean Exchange today. So sorry, Playdap. Team announced mainnet launch on April 11th. I guess that's good news in Playdap. Portal, 57 million worth of tokens. 3% of the circulating supply will be unlocked on March 29th. While Prime, 41 million dollars worth of tokens, 4%, 4.6%. The circling supply will be unlocked on March 31st. There's a lot of unlocking going on right now. Prime might be getting cheaper. ZK Polyhedra is about to launch a 15 million ZK airdrop campaign. My airdrops! 15 million. Line in pockets. And there we go. Layer GG. Great news. Every day he's posting something on there. Not as informative what, what we usually see, but usually he's got some top-notch alpha to share. Things I would ne not have heard about for until about a week later. Now we're buzzing. What have we got over here? Sam says, Gala is doing some good things. Let's check out Gala. How's Gala doing? I wasn't a Gala tree, but I think I got stopped out. I'm still trying to come back from a butt whooping I took on my Bit Unix futures trades over there. I got butt whooped. Doing okay now though. I got butt whooped. I got reamed. So I'm up 87% now. Of course, all I got left to, to put in there was like $38. So I got whooped. It went, wasn't it like 300 or something? Yeah. Reevaluate that strategy. Here we are on Gala. She's 
struggling with this trend line though. Might there be some rejection there? Might be. Four hour time frame here. The nine moving average looks like she is getting rejected there a little bit. So she may be pulling back, but we are in that red cloud and there's a little bit of green over here. So she may just kind of struggle a little bit, which may give you an opportunity to add or something. Overall, she looks good. 200, 100, moving up there like it should. Let's zoom out a little bit on the daily. Ah, uh, and here's the deal. Here's our 800 moving average. That's a major one to get above. It's like, a, <laughs> you know, we, we look at the 200 as being a big one on the daily, right? But once we start getting past all that, the 800 is the next one. It's kind of like the equal to being like the 200 on the weekly. Ish. Perhaps with the five day. <laughs> Where are the... Got lost. Got lost in the chart. And it looks like she's doing a good job there. Remember, we were drawing this parabolic line, which she's still keeping there. I have to finagle it, but she's still basically keeping that. I don't, I hate messing with those things. So she's, this could, Gala might be making a big comeback, man. Let's, let's zoom out. Got to zoom out on this one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, big, nice diving board, as Thomas Pukowski would describe this. Those big elongated kind of falling channels or falling wedges. That They're supposed to be some of the best ones to play out for some good gains there. The steep ones don't play out as well, but the shallow ones, mm -hmm. doing good. Little rejection there. If it was slanted down this way and doing that, it would look like what we call a bump and run. But she slanted to the upside. Anyway, megaphone pattern basically is what we got. She can, she spoke some holes through there. She may blast through, man. That would be awesome. I can't say for sure, but and if she does blast through this particular pattern, then these targets I've got at nine, ten cents. I mean, she may just blast right through those targets and really start shooting for 18, 23 cents because there's not much to hold it back when she gets started. Dare I say somewhere around 26 cents, maybe up around this candle top. Could happen. Let's mark it. 26. She may be getting ready to run. It's off to a good start. Look at those candles. Got the, That's the volume. That's the volume. Gala, I like it. Hey, there's Joe, Trade Intuition. How's it going, man? Hey, I gotta give a shout, another shout out to Joe there, man. I was, I was checking out the stream today and and watching him and he's just explaining things and that just, uh, guys, if if you don't understand this market and how price moves, I mean, most of you guys have been around for a while. Most of you have, really. I don't, I don't get that many new people finding me, but you know, but, but most of you yeah, have got a, a, a good sense of the market. But if you're struggling, if you're just not quite getting it, not really understanding and seeing things, Joe breaks this stuff down so 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 well when he when he explains things. Uh, he he breaks down the the thought patterns behind it and what he's thinking, how he's looking at it, and also how other people will be looking at it. It's just really cool to see him kind of playing it. But he, he you and he he puts he explains the foundations that you need in this market so so well. And you need that. And if you're struggling, that's probably your problem. You don't have those foundational things of support and resistance and patience. He teaches patience. It's like, no, we're not going to enter in until it gets above here <laughs> and recess this line. And then we can think about, you know, or, you know, we're not going to enter. Or we'll wait. We'll wait. We're going to wait because she's getting rejected. And we're not going to, you know, we want to wait till it comes. You know, he's just so cool at just saying this, you know, what's going on and just how, how to look at things. And you, you got to have that. You got to, you can't skip the basics and the fundamentals. That, that's what's going to help you learn how to control your emotions right there. And when you got somebody that's explaining what they're doing and, and their steps through this and how they would trade it and stuff, that, that, that makes a difference. That helps. So shout out to Joe. We were looking at Gala right here, right? And we're starting to look at um, AIOZ. Did we, did we look at that earlier? I think I started with that one, didn't we? Oh, well, she's a popping like a mofo. Go AIOZ. Oh my gosh. For real, for real. 
<laughs> we were celebrating we're celebrating the gains over here. 100 percent gains. Yeah. What? Now it's more like a Because this is where I got in. I still in this one. I've been watching this little bag just grow on my Coinbase account. I had to get it over on, not Coinbase, on um, Crypto.com. You can't find it too many places. It's not on the live exchanges yet, so it's come. that's coming too. It ticks a lot of boxes there, man. Um, Gosh, how far are we up now? Yeah. Okay, uh, yep. Almost a 10 exer now. What's that famous last word? So I wish I'd put in more. Actually, I bought some. Where was it? I, I did buy some more. Yeah, I even bought some more when we we're flagging out over here. I was like, you're getting ready to freaking run to the moon. But we've been covering it on the channel. If you're not in it, it's not because I hadn't been talking about it. But um, I don't think it was this particular chart, was it? That was that's Coinbase. Here we go. Here's where we looked at it recently. Nailed it. <laughs> so it came up and well, it went past our one dollar two target. Still got another target up here, right around a dollar thirty. Got marked at one twenty nine. So dollar thirty and one forty seven for A I O Z. Looking for these possible areas if this trend line broke, but apparently that trend line did not break. And you know what's a cool sign when you have trend lines is when they don't really come back and, and touch them that much. When they start lean, they start drifting off. It's like a plane taking off. We're touching ground, and now we're not touching ground, and now we're getting away from the ground, and now we're really getting away from the ground. We're lifting off. I like it. This is on the daily. This is strong as chart. What we got going on on the bigger ass time frames? There's your bullish move right there. Three hundred crossing over that six six over the eight hundred. I'm sorry. Three hundred crossing over the eight hundred. And. Somewhere down the road, Lucy will cross over that. And that'll be another nice little momentum move to the upside. So, golly, let's go. Let's kick it. Let's do it. When that crossed, we started working on our pump. Go, baby. You can do it. Go, baby. Make that. Ooh, look. Got those areas right over here. I didn't even look at that. And got to look to the left. Always look to the left. I need to mark that little guy. What are you? Because I don't have anything marked in that area. That would be kind of stupid of me to ignore that. Shame on me. I always look to the left. That's a rule of the game. That's a fundamental rule of the game. Joe would have already looked to the left. I'm just saying. Dollar 18. And not our area. Maybe a dollar 12. We're already above my candle close here. Looks different on Christmas tree candles. Mileage may vary. Look at this Ichimoku cloud over here, man. See how far it is from price action. See how spindly and green it is. That is bullish as all get out. That's what you want to see. You want to, this is, what's this? Beautiful. We want to see this on every run that we come across. Far away from it, thin and spindly, breaking out of a red cloud. Wherever we can bounce out of a red cloud. <laughs> that is a sign for pump it, baby. Marcus Cypher says, baby, we, we just getting started. Money flow ain't even in green yet. What you don't don't be a minute, man. Have a little bit of stamina. Rub something on it. I don't know. Make it last longer. Don't give up the ghost yet, baby. We got lots of work to do. We're going up. So AIOZ, man. Love it. Bags be popping. Oh, the one coin I was going to look at that we didn't look at because I got squirrel head, squirrel brain, and I uh, got off of it was Omnom. It's it was over on Token Metrics. Uh, that's being a hottie. So for I uh, figured DJs would love this one. I'm not in this one, so I may have missed it. Find out a little bit about it. Omnom, you're supposed to be dark, man. I'm just saying. Om nom. Dog eat dog. Oh, I've seen that. I may have got a tiny airdrop of that. Is this Solana 
No, th- no, I didn't get an airdrop of that. Oh, I'm mistaken. That's on Dodge Chain, isn't it? Okay. Omnom. I think charting. I think I heard charting crypto talking about this one. Okay, this one's got it's still got a small market cap. Thirty-seven million dollar market cap. Circling supply is three hundred and ten quintillion. What is that? It's four sets of. Uh, when it comes after, I had the two dang many coins. But it's only about 31% of the total supply there. She's hot. She's on Mexi. Don't swap. Mexi's got her. Okay. Wait till. Oh gosh. Wait till she gets on Bitmart or CoinX or something. Some place with more liquidity. What will happen then? Om nom. Over on Mex. Woo, baby! That's why you're pumping, isn't it? No? You know, you've been on Mexi for a little while. She's up. She went from flat line. Try that one more time. She went from flat line. <laughs> you're not giving me anything. How dare you? It's such a tiny move. I mean, this is fractions of a fractions of a fractions of a fractions of a penny. Crypto has put penny stocks to shame. Oh yeah, I'll show you how low I can go. How many zeros we can put on there. Where is that little tool that I keep looking for? You're such a tool. You're such a tool. Currently she's up 9,286% and she made it up 11,400 and Have I been here the whole ticking time? Thank you very much. And I didn't scroll down. Have we been on the new screen this whole time? Hey, Juan. Hey, I appreciate that, Juan. Juan sent a super chat. Does that show up? Oh, well, okay. There's a delay, so I see what's going on the screen. Well, at least it wasn't totally covered. Man, I apologize. I'm, I, one of these days, I will get more proficient at all this, but I get lost in the charts, man. I'm looking at just the charts. I don't see all the, the fun stuff that you guys get to see, unfortunately. I always feel bad when I do that. So we're looking at Omnom, and he's like going off the charts, crazy, making gains. So too hot for me. <laughs> But congratulations to anybody who played it. What might you be up to? Ooh, that's a strong move, man. That's a strong move right there. What are you doing, Om Nom? If somebody fumbles in, what happens to them? You want to spank them or are you... You want to be nice? It's, it's like you're being nice. I'm not saying FOMO at all. Look, there's a wick. Does that make sense on a smaller time frame? Hell yes, it does. <laughs> look how that plays out on the smaller time frame. Didn't look like it was much of anything at first, right? I know, it's, it's, it's crazy when you zoom out how, how weird it is. Double toppy tops, are you? Just got ourselves another possible channel there. Respect that angle. So those angles on the wicks there. Yeah, let's follow that idea. She may be doing a little megaphony pattern here, bouncing off the bottoms and going back up to the tops. Wouldn't that be juicy? Support resistance. Well, that was a turn line on a bigger the bigger candles because this was the top of the pattern. This was the wiki wick. She could always come back and test this area. A bunch of zeros in 88.64.50. But I'm looking really more of this 50 moving average here on the one hour. Somewhere with uh, 
only six zeros and 1046, 948. You're so freaking complicated to talk, to talk about price on uh, meme coins. That's what I find annoying about it. Whiff is so much easier to talk about. $2.78. I don't have to count decimals. Inside this pattern, we got this going on. Ooh, that's special. Might she find support there and bounce to the upside? Yeah, she might. That's why we looked around and drawed it. That's why we drawed it. See if it works. She may break through it. Orange ones don't count. They're just speculations. We're going to see if they hold. If it holds and breaks through here, I'm just saying, hey, that was a speculative one. If it bounces here, I'm still going to say that was a speculative one. I don't know. It's got a good chance of holding, though. Om nom. If you in it, it may be still doing a little bit more damage there. Trade Intuition said, uh, just entered Ondo. We didn't look at Ondo, did we? Don't you remember a dang thing you do? Surprisingly, not as much as I should. Holy crap shots. Look at that one go. It looks like all coins are blasting to the moon is what it looks like. She's a pumping. Not only is she a pumping, she's a breaking. Out of that trend line, and that's bullish as all get out. Yes, sir. She is going to parabolic. And we just now, the party's getting started. Well, we got maybe two stages out of this whole game. Out of a five stage run with a blow off top possible. That's what we're looking for. Don't know if we'll get it. I still haven't got that graphic, man. I need to do that. Can you guys hang on while I get that graphic? We're going to go get it together. We'll just Google it. Well, this is it. It's a small one. Hey, you know what? I see you do this all the time, Joe. You you and Chris would do that. You would paste stuff in here, and I never have done that, really. What's up? Yeah, whatever. Come on. This doesn't work forever. How many times I got to click you, man? I'm done. All right. I'll have to finagle that later. That's a nice move, man. That's a nice move. Let's come to a smaller time frame. Mmm, nice little scallop. Oh, I like it. 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 I'm already, I've already got a little bag of Ondo. I started building up a little bit of his position, but I'm kind of late to the game. So I, I think I got something through here. Oh, in the four hour? Yeah. So cool. So the new projects and things, they start coming out and gaining weight and you got to make sure you have some dry powder on the side to put in there. So, and if you don't, then you got to start scraping and then you might have to do what I do and scrape some from one exchange and one's another exchange. And you got, now I got positions on both exchanges or something like that to try to just to boost that bag up a little bit. I didn't want to destroy all my dry powder. I'm trying to actually collect more dry powder for a bigger drop that will be coming some die. Plan ahead. Got to start planning ahead because I'm terrible at it. That's why I plan ahead because I know it's a rudeness. Got to plan ahead. It's like the tax thing. I'm not good at that stuff. I got to plan. Do it now as we start this new year. Put some in another wallet. <laughs> Leave it there. Don't let it be your dry powder for the drops. For that particular one. That's why you need another wallet. Speaking of wallets. <laughs> they say that the code word DAWG will save you 10% at tangent.com. I feel like I've already been over with these guys before. How's her buddy Nier doing? She's getting a lot of attention lately. Oh, you pulled back a little bit. And look like you're trying to recover that. Nice, nice, nice. Let's zoom out a little bit. I got too much going on here. Turn some of this stuff up. Lucy? But why we got Lucy up here? 
Please notice that the 200 moving average is crossing over Mo Lucy as we speak. This is Lucy. That's pretty bullish. And there's 800 moving average over here too. Turn Lucy off there and we can see this a little bit better. Alright, so I think we're just still looking for these areas to possibly retest. This one already did. Called it! This one already did. So, we got enough assholes. We don't need another one. Still called it! Oh, I saw a bouncer bouncer off of here. Finding support out here. Around the uh, 382. Means a bouncer off of 382. We go higher. We go much higher. We go so higher. We can go this higher. Come on, baby. Let's go up there. Get to 1150. I think you can do it, near. Hell yeah! We also have a 1260 target right over here for near. That's the 618 for the tow move. That's just kind of the area where, you know, a lot of people will probably try to short it. Some people might be successful at shorting it. I don't know. We have to see. Kind of make up our mind there. That's targets are the stopping point. That's like a hey man, I need to take some profit or think about taking some profit. I need to figure out what I'm going to do here because something will probably happen at this area that I may or may not want to be a part of. This new unlocks it. So now we're working on another trend line. I'm going to go to bodies there. Let's see if we kind of follow that little guy. She may be doing a rising wedge type thing. Who knows? If she does break above this trend line, though, ooh, let's keep a close eye for some stronger upward action because that's what would follow. Joe says, real world assets are moving. Yeah, that's a good narrative to be in. So AI, real world assets. I need to write, I need to put all this on the list. I need a graphic showing the categories, the, the, the main hot categories that are kind of cycling around and rotating and the gaming. Don't forget gaming, but I don't think it's moving. So real worlds. So we moved from gaming over to AI or AI over to gaming. And now we're shifting over to, you see a little, a little ebb and flow. And that's traders moving the market. And you want to be part of that if you can identify it. So take a look at HBAR. HBAR is one that I really don't have much of. If I've got any. I guess I need to check that too. Where are you? I'm looking for a good chart here. Perpetuals, dollar index, index. What's Habar? That's why. Dumbass. Can't even spell. You suck, road dog. All that negative self talk. Listen. Adair Hashcraft's looking at it here on Binance. Well, she hit her target there at 12.28% since and has since went above it a little bit the 13.8 and it's dropped below it let's have some fun with trend lines i'm actually going to zoom out to the weekly so we got a nice little bottom pattern Because it's a bottom pattern and not a waist pattern. I'm calling this a belt line, not a neckline. That's pointy anyway. Could be a possible Adam and Eve. It's a, it's a, Adam and Eve is another type of double bottom. They basically have the same measure moves. So we, we went up there and this is what they do, man. Either they come up above it and flag above it or they get rejected, come down and then later try to do it. Now we're flagging above it. 
So if you see now, Ramey, it doesn't look like it's quite playing out. It may just be an opportunity to uh, get in before it does play out. That's how I look at it. Your mileage may vary. I feel like I got a short chair. So I got a measure move target to just right at 16 cents there. Pretty much even, 16 even. Wouldn't want to front run that number. Trying to make it sell. Just one of the rules of the game, man. You don't, you don't, the, the savvy ones don't, don't, eat, don't put a order in on a number that ends as zero or a five. Just a good rule to go by. Mix it up, front run it. A few cents before, some odd number. Otherwise your bid or your, your ask, your buy or sell gets stacked on top of everybody else's and you're just sitting there waiting in line. And if the momentum one runs out at that target that everybody else got the same number you did, well, you just gotta wait. Maybe you get hit, maybe you don't. Maybe, oh, it went there, but it didn't sell, why? Cause you hit with the even number like all the other dumbasses out there. That's strong language, I wouldn't use that. My bad. Another mega pony pattern coming out here. Might we find a partial decline here and start working our way back to the upside? Maybe getting a little bit rejected here at the 200 moving average for HBAR, but she looks like she wants to do something. 50 moving average is getting very close to 100. I think that is a positive sign with the Ichimoku cloud saying, hey baby, I'm ready to, for you to rock my world. Let's go. I'm all thin and spindly like I'm an anorexic. And that's exactly what you want your green Ichimoku cloud to look like. It's total anorexic. Plan spindly. Little lackluster on the MACD, a little losing a little momentum there. So a little pullback to this area, the non-moving average, where it wicked down before. Totally acceptable. May want to kiss that area one more time. 10 cents before we start heading up to the target of the 16 cents. Just cause that's the target we got. Might go higher. Of course you could. We check our fibs for the local move that we got from the latest swing high to our very bottom swing low there. We got an 18 cent target here at the 618. Now, will that one reject it? Maybe, but it could go higher. Looking to the left over here, I mean, last time we were in this area, it kind of, it was a little bit more up here around 21, 22 cents. So we're going to mark that little fib area there. Look like some good places to shoot for. I'm leaning a little bit more toward 22 cents myself. But you're a grown ass man or woman or other and you can make up your own mind. That's not what I'm here for. What the hell color was that? That was this one. I am not a financial advisor. I'm just a crazy looking dude on YouTube that acts stupid. But it makes lots of money there on it. Not from YouTube though, just from this. <laughs> I am fully funded, self-supported, except for the generous donations that I get from time to time, memberships and such like that. Because if you're going to do it, baby, do it. <laughs> right? Is that tax deductible? Is that another deduction? <laughs> you guys are using acronyms with each other. I don't know if you're talking about coins or not. I'm a big DPZ fan. I ran into it, put a small bag in two days ago. What do you think about this one? DBZ. Let's see what you are. Diamond Boys. Well, they don't have much to say about it. So Dragon Ball Z's and then we got this Dragon Ball Z tribute. 
Then they got a Diamond Boys coin. $6.5 million market cap, very tiny. Some would say it's very highly risk, but um, that's where the high gains are made. If you really want to try to make the big gains, those are the plays that you want to look for, really. Find out a little bit about it, do your due diligence. So Uniswap, it's also on Jupiter. So we got a Solana, I'm guessing meme coin, right? In memory of Akira Toriyama, who passed away on March 1st, 2024, the Dragon Ball Z tribute project emerges as a beacon for its fans worldwide. Will ever play. Aiming to honor the genius and creativity of the legendary mega artist behind the Dragon Ball Z series. All right. Hey, if there's a fan base and they're crypto heads or will be crypto heads or become crypto heads and say, oh my God, you got Dragon Ball Z? I'm in. So we got that. I don't know what happened here. I'm going to the website, right? And not getting there. So I'm going to the Twitter, right? I got there. And they got a telegram. Contract, telegram, chart, Dex tools. Let's go ahead and look at you over here on Dex tools. Unable to find out much about the project itself, so we'll just go with what we do know. And that is the chart. Hmm. Should I count it? Should I count it? I normally do count it. It means something. It does mean something. It means that we couldn't make it above that trend line again. We lost it and got rejected on it, so... Most likely, we're doing something along the lines of this. Although, that doesn't match up really as pretty as I would like for it to. Therefore... I want to tighten my game up. I would really like to see more out of that. You know what, the 12 hour? Let's bump it down to two. So it's a little bit of a fuzzy zone there. to deal with over here on Dex Tools. What the hell? Okay. May take her a while to get up here because she's got a lot of baggage to work through, or maybe be going on just a totally new trajectory of higher and lows. I mean, we lost this horizontal level, now we're just underneath it, and you know, eventually it doesn't matter anymore. Maybe. So either she breaks up above here, or she just kind of slowly moves over to it by the end of the month or something like that. Looking at these two areas mostly. And these being fib levels, I do have confidence in them. That from this move, swing high to swing low at some point, that those will be touched and met. Don't hesitate a bit to throw those out there. However, this trend line, I just gotta see how it's gonna deal with that. Cause she's gotta deal with that. It's another way you can look at it too. And that's also finding support on this one. So we're doing the same things. So basically, we got this symmetrical triangle that's being a symmetrical triangle that's really just coming out in more of a range, and that's what I say about symmetrical triangles. Except for the other one we saw earlier tonight, who actually did what it is, the, the, ne the, what they never do. The, the, you hope they do, but they never do. So we did see one that actually would give you guys hope for your reputation. So, I mean, she... <laughs> She can do some wild stuff through here. 
We want to see a breakout above this wick. And that'll be a sign that maybe, maybe, maybe we're starting to break out of this channel. If we do break out of this channel, where there's a beautiful measure move that you can take, because you went from this area all the way down to this area, it's a one-to-one -one measure move. And believe it or not, they were pretty darn, gosh darn accurate after you get your breakout from the upside there. So there you go. I got some targets for you. Point zero 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 eleven oh five. Thirteen thirteen. That one's easy to remember. Fifteen ninety and nineteen twenty. Dragon Ball Z. Boon, base bad boon, new on base blockchain. Learn how to use this thing, bro, dog. Gosh, boomer. It's boon, not boomer. Always have problems finding them against the dollar. Because that's really the only thing that makes makes sense to most of us. But that's the same contract, right? All right, well, I guess we're rocking with the, the wheat. So against Ethereum, she's not doing so hot. She already poked a hole through at 786, so might she come back and actually touch her support resistance line there. Although I see a little bit of green there. Maybe she's already got her. She's going to have her bounce in. We're on the two hour, let's go down to 15 minute. What you got going on here? Okay, well, maybe you Mr. Phoebe's sticking then. Maybe we're kind of doing a double bottom or something here. Got a higher low. That's a good sign. We like those higher lows when they work out. I mean, you got a higher low over here too, but you couldn't get a higher high. So then you got a lower low. So we got to get a higher high and then another higher high. And then another higher high, and then get a higher low. We need to go a stepping through all this bull crap. <laughs> Step down a little bit, two steps forward, three steps back, something like that. So this one will probably it got this nice little parabolic move up, up right on the shorter time frame. This is 15 minute time frame. Come down, reaccumulate, and then if she gets hot again, pump up again. Looks like she's in a good, good spot to pop to the upside. And if you take a look at what you got when you connect the dots, you got the the fun loving pattern that we're seeing most of our altcoins in, which gives them some killer higher highs when they get up there. So I got some good targets. Where we are currently sitting has a decimal five zeros. 4322. Price right, so I would shoot for actually is a decimal and four zeros, 1699. We're down at the bottom of a pattern, which is my favorite place to buy. Once I identify what is going on. And that, my friend, could be nice move, 
Pardon me for a minute. Enjoy the music. Road dog getting ready to FOMO in here at the bottom. If I got something to FOMO in with. I'm on a two hour chart. I've got the risk tolerance to get in on this. I think it's cool. It fits my parameters for what I like to do. And you might have a totally different approach. You might be waiting for a clearance on something else. Me, I like the bottom of trend lines. That's just my... And if we break trend lines, then I can get out a minimum loss. That's why I... And they make big numbers. This is what I do. You don't have to do this. But I'm going to see if I can do it. We're on base. I was trying to move some stuff over to base. There's a little bit on base. I've got a lot of Toshi on base, but I just kind of want to hold on to Toshi because I think Toshi's going to go a lot bigger. I don't have enough Ethereum on base. I need to transfer. I don't want to transfer Ethereum on. Uh, I don't have it on base, though. All righty. Gosh darn it. I can't do this quickly enough. We got you on Uniswap there, right? You know you're not going to look at the freaking list. Oh, are we on? Are we on? Are we on? Dude. I got 0 0.008 ETH. That's not going to buy me jack. Oh, well. Stick it on my forehead. Stick it on my chin. Puts it in my pocket. Maybe I'll remember to look at it again later tonight. Ace. Baboon. Boom. Was oh, this a baboon? Because I couldn't find much. What was this? A three days old, all time high, five million market cap. Not bad. Boon looks good to me. High potential. I can see some potential right now and I can't find my way in. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Bro. Let me know if you need help. Oh, uh, I can. I'll figure it out. I just don't want to take. I don't want to lose people here on the stream, though. Watching me. Getting bored with me fumbling with my phone or contract address. Because I have to move some ETH over and stuff. On the base. Because I'm not selling my Toshi. <laughs> you remember selling it? You'd just be rolling it over. Shut up, emotions. You're trying to be logic. I know you are. Get back. Get back, FOMO. Don't It's watching. All right, so I agree. I like Boone. I like the way it's look. I like the way the chart looks. Possibilities here. Guess I will announce tomorrow if I was successfully FOMO in. Is it really FOMO if I actually do it at a later date? Man, you affected my DGN status. That leaning me back toward a, that leaning me back toward boomer status. This is one that I'm happy to see pump. Uh, it's called Burger. One of those Binance plays, man. Nos rounded accumulation. Just waiting, been waiting. Waiting. I have not decided how long I will play this one, but it looks like I could. I'm, I'm eyeballing the $3 area somewhere over here. For a burger in this big accumulation. Any coin that you see that looks like this is probably going to make you some multiples. I'm just throwing that out there. Doesn't have to be this one. We're looking more at the, the shape and what's going on at this part of the market and how it's reacting and if it is above the 200 moving average on the weekly or the daily. And here we are above the 200 moving average on the daily. Oh, and you hit my targets. Good, we can race those. 
Boom, boom. Get those out. Knock them out. So next one I'm looking for is a dollar fifty to three out of this one. Some might see, and they could rightly see this. How's a shoulder, a head, and shoulder, but this one's for real. It's got a neckline. It's Kilroy. I'm Kilroy. Upside down Kilroy. Get ready to take this one up. Let's take that measure move. Measure move for this move. Should get us to $1.34. And we're retesting that trend line. Beneath the upside down. Right shoulder. Once we get back above that non-moving average, once we get above this 200 moving average on the daily, well, that's when we'll see it. Not before, only after. First, you gotta reclaim 93 cents-ish. But then, this little guy starts coming into the picture. Talking about waves? I like waves, I'm just waiting for it to do damage. I've had a bag of waves for a long time. Throughout all this mess over here. And she got down really, really low to these juicy, juicy areas of the R50. So yeah, I'm very happy with waves. But she's doing more. My target's for, I'm looking for these areas up here, nine to $10. But, uh, this was a big one in the trading group that I used to belong to back in the day and reported to melt faces off. And if you look at the coin, when you zoom out, I mean, it's got so much up and down. Yeah, it makes a good trader coin. I mean, she can, I mean, especially like over here, you can't deny that. And not only that, I mean, she made a, her biggest high got up to $60. So past $60, right? On the last high. So when I zoom out and then I kind of look at what went on, I'm looking at this trajectory here where we're going to we're going to hit a ceiling at some point and we get the the cloud is big and thick. So I'm kind of curious how this is going to play out. Would kind of would we go up real quick? I mean, it could. There's not much on the drop on the weekly where it got staggered around and or anything. I don't know, but uh, I'm in it because I want to find out. And as long as I'm not losing, as long as it keeps going up and making me money, then I'm cool with it. Short term targets that I've got, I don't think they're worth messing with. There was a play from down here, the buy zone we had at 240 and the target that we had, it got hit at 398. That was 80% gain and it went on up to 491 for a total of 126%. And that's honestly the area that I would be shooting for right now. Let me get rid of this other stuff. It's played out, in my opinion. Probably still valid targets, but... Could retest this area at 333. Looks kosher. Also, if we can point this out, this is kind of cool. Just the same pattern. I'm going to follow those wicks through here though. It's got a little confluence for that area too, about 490. 200 moving average on the weekly also makes an excellent target, but that's going to bring us back up to this target area too, about 917. By the time price gets up there, the moving average may be up that, that, that Fibonacci level as well. It usually plays out that way a lot. We got a long way to go until we bump into this trend line, so I'm not really worried about that. I'm just curious as to what happens when we get past $6. Is it a moonshot? Might be. So I'm not selling out just yet. I'm waiting until we get at least past there. And eyeballing the 9, because that might be a support resistance flip area. 
there was a there was a resistance here support support and possibly going to be resistance this next time around so well, that's what i'm looking for out of waves Ron says, Boone, we, yeah, we just looked at Boone. I liked it. I tried to FOMO in, but I got to move some money over. Keep it with the conversation. I'm talking to you, Road Dog. At Cole. Wait, Cole, what's that? All right. I'm not seeing any coins. I don't think I missed any that were requested. Oh, there's one. Grimmer's got CTI. Yes. Let's look at CTI. CTI is a DSI play. I like DSI. And she's banking. And I want to give Grimmer a shout out for bringing that to my attention, man. I didn't, I wasn't paying attention to CTI before it was mentioned. I, I'm sure Grimmer mentioned it. But I got me a bag of it when we were in some juicy prices. And I can't remember exactly where, but it was, it was somewhere through here. And now we're up. We just came right back to the butt crack right here. Right to the belt line. Haven't broke above it just yet. Let's go ahead and clear this one. Should I clear it out? Ah, we can just clear out the mess. All the stuff that doesn't matter anymore. Let's get something that might matter. I want to continue this line from those wicks. Reline it up there. Because that would be a nice little juicy area for support, meaning that uh, if we go to the downside, hey, we might bounce off that area. So I always like to look for these things, the patterns that we came out of. There's one thing that I noticed that a lot of people don't do is look at the patterns we just came out of and because those are still in play for our targets and everything, man. Right. It's like we gotta find a whole new target because we broke out of this pattern. No, man, there's a target from that pattern. Remember, that's the whole thing we're looking at. Or you can use the one minute and flag your way up there. It's whatever you want to do, man. I just like to zoom out. I like to let the bigger time frames tell me what it's going to do and just watch the little, the small ones kind of make it happen. Because that's how it works, man. Your bigger time frames are is a chain of command here. And the big dogs tell the little dogs what they're going to do or what to do. And the little dogs just figure out how to make it happen. That's how I look at it. On the weekly struggling here with that area. Are you going to make it above it? Oh, it's looking like it's promising to me. Yeah. Ichimoku, slow close price, but she's wanting to move up. Let's draw us a little trend line here. CTI. Ooh, she's getting away from it. Do you see that? where we started and now she's moving away subtly I mean we could kind of cut there and we still got more of the same angle even from down here but she's trying to go parabolic in my personal opinion and I'm cool with that it's about time you just broke out of this pattern we got 14 cents on the table to go to and it's not going to stop there got another target sitting up here at 618 pull from the swing high to always swing low 24 cents even from where we are right now Boom, shocker like that's 200% gains. Almost. I like CTI. Clintex is the name of it. Yeah. Indicators from what I see, I'm on the three day. And, uh, you know, she's losing a little bit of momentum here on the MACD, but not quite seeing danger. Let's check for some any kind of divergence. I mean, there's a little bit forming, but then again, that's the would be the one that would uh, wait here we need to move this that would be the one taking us back down to this mo nine moving average here that area of the trend line let's go to a smaller term time frame like the one hour and she's bitching on it she's above the 200 moving average can't complain about that not really worried about these areas down here until that's lost if it is lost may not get lost don't look like it wants to be lost looks like it wants to keep going it could she dang sure could we do our Fibonacci trick right here. Oh, you pull back to the 0.5? For real, for real? And that takes us up to this area right here, which we've already got marked out. So we're still good. A little confluence saying that 0.096 cents is coming into the picture, into the playground here. I don't think we're coming back down here anytime soon. I think we're headed more to the upside. Let's do it. I got a double bottom in. 
retest in that line. Let's go knock this out, baby. Clintex. Buy me a Lambo. Buy me a condo in Hawaii. That's a lot better than a dang Lambo. about Boone. We did Boone. I'm trying to get some Boone. Take a look at Say SEI here on the hour. What do you look like? Zoom out. What is noisy? Zoom out. Still noisy. Why are you so noisy, Say? You got a lot of stuff to talk about? Something on your mind, Say? Do you want to talk about it? Lay down on the couch here. Let's have a little sit down. What's on? What's what's bothering you, honey? Things look like they're going well for you. You're making higher highs and higher lows. Don't think there's anything to be down about. You're just having a little confidence struggle right now. You just need a little pep talks. All you need. I know what you need. You're having trouble getting past that level you got knocked down from. You got knocked down off your horse and you just don't have the confidence to get back up there and ride that little sucker. Well, honey, when you get knocked down, you got to get right back up. Just climb right back on up there. I tell you what, we'll lower the bar for you. Make it a little bit easier for you. We'll bring you down to these candle tops right there. How's that make you feel? That made a big difference, didn't it? I knew it would. I knew that'd make you feel. Look, you're feeling better already. You already started popping up there. You just needed, we just needed to have this little conversation, baby. That's all. Look, you're feeling better already. On the one hour, you already popping over that 200. That's all you needed, honey. You just, you just need a little, a little sweet talking. I need the corn whisperer. If you got a coin and it needs a whispering too, I'm the freak for the job. Let's go, baby. Let's do it. Come on. Don't get scared on the six minute now. Don't get that pullback. Who can make this happen? I got the, I know you can. I will help you out. This is a trend line. You just want to touch it and move it to the upside. Don't even touch it. Pretend it's radio. The floor is lava, baby. The floor is lava. That's where the game we're playing. The floor is lava. Don't look. The floor is lava. Don't get killed. They love playing games. Sometimes you just got to entertain them. Do something like this. They respect that. Oh. SEI is looking hot. How's that old Suey? Suey? She's struggling, baby. She's struggling with that trend line here on the six minute. Let's get away from the six minute. It's relative. It wasn't even a trend line. I think it was a measure move line. See, you gotta... That's not even a trend line, you suck road dog. It's not even a trend line. But we'll make it into one. How's that? <laughs> like we're bouncing off this... <laughs> we're bouncing off this measure move line. We're bouncing off this random... That's holding. That's actually got some substance right there, especially when you take it to the wicks. You identify right there. Getting a little bounce. Nice above the 200 moving average on, average on the four hour. Why not? Let's do it. Technically above the nine moving average. If you're above the nine, I'm going to tell you everything's fine. Or should be. Break this trend line though. I'll be. I'll flip on you. <laughs> I'll flip on you like a cheap hamburger. Could it be a cup and handle to the upside? Or could it be a double top to the downside? Let me tell you both and then I'll claim victory for whichever one plays out because I called it live here every day. It's amazing when I come onto the stream, the price just pops. I'm telling you, they're out there just waiting for me to come on live so they can trade against me. We got there. Guy Isku58. Hey, brother. Thank you for your insight on these crypto. Hey, my pleasure, man. That's what I'm here for. Hey, meme going trader. We're getting a lot of new people here, man. I got 16 people right now. That's enough for me. Lots of new faces. Hey, welcome to the stream, man. I know I'm a little bit weird, a little bit different, but, uh, you know, we just kind of chill out and have fun. Don't really have much of a game plan tonight looking at coins. They were throwing out there. Sometimes I will come here with a whole list looking at certain categories. The main goal is to find coins that's going to make all of us money. And setups are going to make all of us money. 
So I bring something to the table. You guys bring something to the table. We just push it all together and it makes a baby, a rich baby or whatever, a cake. Get that cake. CWS, it went up and then back and down. They had to put more in it. Do we, do we look at that? That sounds so regularly familiar. Do we look at that tonight? Crowds, oh no, I haven't looked at it tonight, but we looked at it before. Crowds, that one, that one was kind of interesting, right? She's flagging. Nice double bottom. She just had to flag out underneath it. Sometimes they like to be on top. Sometimes they like to be on the bottom. I don't know, man. You just, you know. Uh -huh, okay, it's respecting the here to here. Didn't quite nab that wick. Can't really do it without cutting into a candle body, and that breaks my rule, so I'm not doing it. Not doing it. You can't make me. You can't pay me. You can pay me. I'll do it if you pay me. Look. If you do do it, it's very interesting. From this wick to that wick to this to that, that holds, and we're kind of lost a little area, so it's probably a good idea to try that. But it breaks my rule over here. Oh my gosh, we got a conundrum. Well, my rule over there is, is that we're in safe territory anyway. Even if we did break that little minor trend line. This one says, we're okay. We're bouncing off of it. Screw that other trend line. I'm going to freaking bounce over its head in just a second. This one's a feisty one. Crown's feisty. I like that. It's got grit. I just tell you what they're telling me. And this one's feisty. She's talking back. She also got this green dot over here on market side from the daily. That kind of, that's what's giving her that little ego kind of overconfidence right there. You better watch out for that sarcastic little girl. Slap you down a minute. I'm just saying. Come on now. Don't get too cocky. Still got to get above this 400, this 200 moving average on the four hour chart. Ichimoku Cloud's trying to back you up, but you're getting rejected here. What's up? Well, you, come on. You don't need, you need a pep talk too? Listen, listen, crowns. You got Ichimoku Cloud over here just begging for you to make a run for the border and go north, go north, cross over. Everybody else is doing it. Hell, why should you be any different? Border's wide open. Bring all your nukes. I don't, don't bring any nukes. It looks to me like she's going to have to come back down to this area about 64 cents before she's kind of. Remember where she came from before she can go where she's going. 100 is not crossed over to 200. That is still bullish. Black and turn up while this one goes that way. And that will just jake her by the hair like a mama kitten mama coming in at her little kitty cat. Jaking her by the back of the neck and just jerking her right back up there. That's what I want to see. Don't you start getting bearish on me, crowns. I ain't got none of you, but you don't need to get bearish. Man, what's you going on on this one hour? 15 minute, 15 minute. Look at, what the hell? Still good. Moving averages are still up top, but man, she's in a fight. I don't see the sell pressure here unless it's just from this big sell off. Whoever sold all that, that's a lot of volume. I think we're still feeling the effects from that. Looks like she might bounce off of the 200 on the 15. Keep an eye on that. She loses it on the 15. Well, then I'll be looking down here back to 60 cents. Retest that area one more time. But if she can bounce off of it, I think we're looking good. Looking good. You need to bounce. Here, let me help you out. Let me give you a boundary. Do not cross this line. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200 unless you go up. Well, that puts us back to our 64 cent target where we started out in the first place. Have I seen Twitter? Is that what it is, Twitter? TWTR on Solana? Nope. Can't say that I have. Twitter so. What a thought, what a thought, what a thought, what a thought. Well, Solana's beating her for now. Oh, it's against US dollar. Okay, cool. 
I never know if I'm getting a dollar. It says Twitter Solana up here, but then on the chart it says Twitter US dollar. And that throws me off. So is it, I guess, the dollar or Solana coin? I'm guessing we're a dollar, so I'm saying it's a dollar. Okay. Eh, whatever. I don't think it's going to apply anyway. Magically at this 618 area, which I don't have the extensions here, so I'm just going to rely on the the old trusty trend line that takes me right up to that same area. When I put it to the 618, 618. We are on the one hour time frame. This one's just kind of got started, but from what we got, what I can read, we're likely doing the A B equals C D, a one to one move that will take us up to this area. Point zero zero one four twenty. Ha, you got it. I'm rocking with that one. That's four twenty. Four twenty. One four twenty. Dude. Dude. Four twenty. So if we're gonna break out from there, I would be looking at one four twenty. If you start losing this level down here, if you lose, especially this one, you're at a lower low. You suck. Let's connect those two dots. Let's call that a line in the sand. You see that break is not good. That means coming back down here and 420 is out of the question. Or a 1420. You might get 420. But if we break to the upside, that's going to get high. That's going to get smoky in here. It's going to do some stuff. Price is going to get high. I'm trying to see how high it's going to get. How high are you going to get price? From where we are right now. Holy crap, that's 263%. That's like you put $100 in, you can take $263 out. Twitter soul. Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. What's the deal with you, Twitter? Are you a meme coin? You just come, somebody did that. There's no big news about Twitter launching a token. That would be big news. Wouldn't just happen to show up and say, oh my God, there it is, let's go get it. What's that? Twitter coin. Is there a website? You got a website? Where's my information? It's got a deck score of 98 out of 99. Contract is valid. It's not a honeypot. Got that going for it. Check the audits. I don't feel like checking the audits. I want to check the website. What are you? Come on. Where's your website? Market cap. What? I really need to get familiar with Dex tools here. I see no websites. I see nothing. Less info, more info. I wanted more info, but... All right, well, ooh, what's, what's it, that's, what is this? Text me, no, it's Next Tools, Twitter. Dex Tools, continue in the app on Android? Oh, I've got that, don't I? Okay, well, <laughs> can't find what I'm looking for, but it looks interesting. Mm. 420, 1 420. All right, guys, well, the time is now 1231, and I'm about ready to turn into a pumpkin, and uh, I forgot to set this little guy. Been on since, what, 1030? Have we been ten, two hours again? Nobody wants to watch a two-hour stream, except for you guys. You guys are cool. All right, guys, I'll be back again tomorrow um, is Monday. All right, we got to look at the market one more time before we exit here on a Monday. Sunday night, weekly candle close, all that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, la 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 la. Bitcoin, Bitcoin. It's all about Bitcoin. I'm about Bitcoin, man. Can I get a decent chart that's not cluttered up here with crap? What the hell is this? Oh my gosh. Oh, that's our crazy projection. I don't want to get that out of the way. That's. Oh, here's one. It's not all goofed up. This is on Coinbase. 
when we were following it when it was twenty six thousand dollars. I think this is when I made my buys. Hey, I'm only down three hundred eighty nine thousand dollars on Pepe now. Three ah oh, crap, three hundred ninety two thousand dollars on Pepe now. I finally got thirty nine thousand dollars in equity back out of this account. Gosh darn it, Pepe, you're killing me. You're killing me, Pepe. I'm trying to be a Pepe billionaire, and Pepe don't want to hear about it. I said I'll phone my way into Pepe. I fat fingered it. Bought too much Pepe. What were we doing here? Oh yeah, right, right. We're trying to see what's going to happen tomorrow. Weekly candle close and all that. We go to the Christmas tree candles and we see that um, those past candles sucked, but it had a nice big move to the upside there. Nice wick. I like it. Well, um, there we go. We're starting here and going to know. Dude, we're above the nine moving average on the weekly, man. We're cool. We're cool. I know this kind of freaked a lot of people out, but she's a green candle, and I like that. I like it being green. I didn't get that on my candles. They did on the regular candles and freaked everybody. I just told you candles in the season. Oh, God, we're reversing. Could be, but it's not red. That would be more. I, I, I'd look at that more. But on mine, I don't have that. I just got, hey, man, it's like a candle. <laughs> now I got the doji candle because we're just starting out. She's so looking kind of cool. Let's take a look over here at uh, total three which is starting to blast to the upside, and that's where we're seeing it on our altcoins, and that's what we want to continue to see. However, she is approaching a level of resistance that I've got marked out here. Let's hope that she will continue to blast through it and not dump on her asses tomorrow at this uh, level here at uh, 738 million. We're at a level where we could re reject it tomorrow. If they decided to be mean in the market, which, you know, they could. You know, like they like to do on Mondays. They like to false move Monday, play with their heads. This week, it appears that we got something coming up on the 26th, which is uh, Tuesday. Durable order ad probably won't mess with us. Growth rate, I don't think so. Too bad. 29th, there will be a speech for Fed chair, uh, chair. So market makers will have a heyday on the 29th. You can pretty much count on it. They're going to wick it up, wick it down, wick it all the way around, make you do the hokey pokey. And liquidate everybody that they can before they take price in the direction that they intend to take it, which is probably up. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Thanks for hanging out. See you tomorrow night. Franklin claimed that this was the real cause of the American Revolution. Most of the founding fathers realized the potential dangers of banking and feared bankers' accumulation of wealth and power. Jefferson put it this way. I sincerely believe that banking institutions are more dangerous to our liberties than standing armies. The issuing power should be taken from the banks and restored to the people to whom it properly belongs. That succinct statement of Jefferson is, in fact, the solution to all our economic problems today. Here's how it works. They print it, we borrow it, and we pay them interest. This is garbage. This is garbage. Your people in South Africa, you have your RAND, right? That's going to zero. That's going to zero. This is going to zero, too. Euros are going to zero. The yen's going to zero. The Chinese currency is going to zero. It's all going to zero against Bitcoin. If you don't understand that yet, you're going to be impoverished. You're going to be on the street. You're going to be begging. You're going to be out of business. You're going to be toast. James Madison, the main author of the Constitution, agreed. Interestingly, he called those behind the central bank scheme money changers. Madison strongly criticized their actions. History records that the money changers have used every form of abuse, intrigue, deceit, and violent means possible to maintain their control over governments by controlling money and its issuance. The battle over who gets to issue our money has been the pivotal issue throughout the history of the United States. Wars are fought over it, depressions are caused to acquire it. Yet after World War I, 
this battle was rarely mentioned in newspapers or history books. Why? By World War I, the money changers, with their dominant wealth, had seized control of most of the nation's press. The sharing of biased and false, false news has, has become, become all too common, common on, on social, social media. media. More alarming, some media Unfortunately, some members of the media use their platforms to push their own personal bias and agenda to control exactly what people think. And this is extremely dangerous to our democracy. 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 All the Trump supporters that I talked to who were Trump voters. He's trying to undermine the media, trying to make up his own facts, and it could be that he can actually control right. uh, exactly what people think. And that is the that is if our you, job. Yeah, that is if our you, job. You have owners. They own you. They own everything. They own all the important land. They own and control the corporations. They've long since bought and paid for the Senate, the Congress, the state houses, the city halls. They got the judges in their back pockets. And they own all the big media companies, so they control just about all of the news and information you get to hear. They got you by the balls. These authoritarians hate Bitcoin and it's for the same reason. Why do they hate Joe Rogan? Because they can't control him. He's not subject to, to their hmm. authoritarian power. Why do they hate Bitcoin? Because they can't control it. There's only one useful thing that any of us can do every day when we get up. One thing that matters above all. That one thing is convince someone to convert some other form of property into Bitcoin. I have show of hands. How many people hold Bitcoin? Not bad. Not bad. Um, what I would recommend highly for anybody who doesn't, get off zero, like today. <laughs> um, it is, uh, it's, it, 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 uh, we'll talk a little bit about it. But, but what is it? Uh, it's an open decentralized network that's open for anybody and no one can stop it. It's impossible to stop. It's impossible to stop. Come on, come here, boy. Come on. <laughs> you freaky dog. Oh. I don't need to analyze. Every word that comes out is a lie. Make you look like you're so ice.